Well, good morning. Hey, let's have a look at spindle run out on a standard heavy duty engine weight and a super precision tool room weight. I think you might find this interesting. I've checked around on specs and stuff and it's kind of hard to find on, on some of these machines, especially uh, engine weights. And uh, the general specs for a, a heavy duty engine weight is uh, one half thousandths run out maximum on the spindle taper which seems pretty extreme but uh, I actually got that spec out of a Dean Smith and Grace uh, wave manual and uh, it's uh, it seems to be quite true with most machines let's have a look at a 1941 Axelson spindle now this is a really heavy duty spindle here. It's got two pairs of Tamkin bearings. Uh, I don't, hopefully, don't get too much uh, um, glare off that thing. That should be okay. So I got it on the taper there. And I'm going to start rolling it. And I am reading less than uh, three ten thousandths on the taper. Uh, look carefully here. Yeah, about two and a half tenths, and that's pretty darn good. For a machine like this and I check the uh, face run out let's see if we can uh, check that too this is uh, kind of an odd old stare at base let's see if I can get that that'll rotate on over there I hope you're all doing well this morning. Let's get that. I want to be sure to kind of get it inward a little bit. Tap it back a little bit. Let's see what we get, what we have. I'll roll it the other way. It will take a little while to settle in. I think we're okay as far as glare. This has a little bit more run out on the face. So we've got two right at about five ten thousandths. So that's within spec right there. And it makes it on this machine important to index the chuck and uh, in, and your back plates and stuff and mark them where it's the best run out. Now this run out, two, three, four, well, I'm getting four ten thousandths now that this is settling out. I'll keep rotating it. Oh. Three, four, four and a half tenths about. So 
So it, it's good to uh, be sure and put the ch mark your chucks for uh, like number one pinion and, and uh, always put the chuck on the same or true it up, grind the jaws and uh, you'll be a lot better off. Now the spindle run out is not have um, much if any effect on accuracy of rotation or rotational accuracy however you want to say it and that's how accurate a part is coming off this machine for roundness and I found it a little better than a half a tenth uh, checking uh, on the surface plate or even using V-ample micrometers. Now I'm checking this out because uh, it's taken me quite some time to get these spindle bearings adjusted because they were ran loose for uh, uh, quite some time probably. This lathe is uh, 84 years old and quite amazing. Now this lathe here has four Temkin bearings. It's a heavy duty spindle and uh, the monarchs of the same time period, 1940s, uh, would have only um, two Temkin bearings on the spindle. And this is a heavy duty machine and uh, its uh, load specs are uh, 27,000 pounds radial and 11,000 pounds axial and that's going in that way. Okay, let's have a look at the tool maker's lathe and I will get set up over there. Okay, this is a 1983 Monarch 10 double E toolmaker's lathe, and uh, I got it set on the uh, face here. Let's see what it does. I'll get adjusted up here. Uh, Something like that. Be sure to see that indicator. And make sure I'm locked in. Okay. Don't think there's any glare problems here. So I'll start rotating it and see where it is. Well, it looks like it's substantially better. Let's make sure it's on there. Get it to settle in. Okay, now on Toolmaker's Lathe, the spec is generally <clears throat> half a tenth, which is uh, one of these marks. That's an old TESS uh, indicator, dial test indicator, and it's uh, really quite sensitive, even though it's probably 60 years old. And I would say this is uh, better than uh, a quarter of a tenth, which is 25 millionths of an inch. Four phase run out. You see it jump, it'd be a speck of dust it's running over. It's amazing. Okay, so let's check the uh, Let's check that taper run on here. I'll move back here. This is one of those old uh, 
style stair at bases. And it, it's it's kind of tricky <laughs> to, to make it work. Let's see what that taper is. Okay. I think we can see that okay. Let's see if we can get look down on it a little bit more here. I don't think there's much glare, I sure hope not. See if I can bump it on a number. So if you got a Monarch 10 E, you can check it out. The spec for both Monarch and uh, Hard Inch is uh, half, half a tenth. Each one of these marks is a ten thousandth, so uh, zero to five is half a thousandth. Let's just bump that up there. It wants to jump right back where it was. Okay, probably it's better than a quarter of a tenth here on the taper. Now, the standard for for a Monarch 10 E is half a tenth, and this is a special ordered lathe. And uh, the uh, specification was uh, 30 millionths, and you can see it's uh, considerably better than that. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so that's the difference right there between an old engine lathe, which is in really pretty good condition, versus the tool room lathe. Okay, have a good morning. I'll be back with more. I've got this uh, um, K-model engine case over here I'm doing on the Don Dyer Harley-Davidson machining, and just about finished up with that. I got to uh, Punching, uh, punching the uh, holes out here to refit the cylinders because I had to squeeze the uh, cases together from warpage and weld, weld damage <laughs> or just general running damage over the years. Okay, I'll be back.